Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe, and you can find me Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Photoshop Cafe. You can also visit me on PhotoshopCafe.com. All right, today I'm going to show you some things with type that you might not even be aware of you can do in Photoshop. There's actually a lot of things we can do with orientation. So I'm going to show you how to do type on a path, and then I've got another cool little trick I'll show you at the end. This is going to be quick. Um, so let's get started so first thing i'm going to do here's a photograph i'm just going to grab the pen tool here and then i'm just going to click up i'm going to go down and let's just create a nice little kind of a curve here that'll be kind of fun all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the type tool and this is how you do it if you look in here you'll see there's no align to type here or type on a path option what you do is you move it over and then notice how you see that little wiggly thing there the bottom of the type tool click on here and now we type in type on a path at sunset and uh, at this point here all we need to do is just select our type we can change the size of it you know we can change the uh, color you know we can do all those kind of things we can change the font style now let me just do a bold and okay so we've got type on a path at sunset notice that and if you want to move them around just grab the type tool here like if we want to put uh, change the spacing hit the alt key and then hit the arrow key notice that you can kind of nudge that to play around with it and uh, maybe we want to make that one a little closer so the left um, arrow key will make it closer holding down alt or option and the right will take it away so that's how you kind of fix that it's looking good you know of course we can put drop shadows and all those kind of things on here uh, so let's just put a drop shadow on there really quick let's change the spread all the way down give the size and give it a little bit of distance just for fun the other thing by the way you can drag these around i don't know if you knew that and uh, let's take the size down and just make it hard there we go and that'll just kind of make it pop a little bit all right so we've got that what else can we do? Okay, this is where we're going to really step it up. So we can go to these shapes. So let's grab a shape like this, go to the custom shape tool. And just for fun, we'll grab something like a love heart. Okay, because, you know, we all love the sun. Now, under the options on the left, we want to make sure we choose path. And then just click and drag. Notice it gets all weird. Hold down the shift key and we can constrain the shape. And if you want to move it around, just hit the space bar. And we can move it around and we're going to pop it right in, I don't know, over here. And I'm just going to make it a little smaller. There we go. Now we've got a path. Now let's grab our type tool again. And this time, notice that little thing? There's a wiggly thing, but you go inside and you see the circle. I'm going to click and now I'm going to insert some type. Let's make it smaller so we can actually see what we're doing. Make it about a, a 10. And now, you know, we could type that in or we can go up here. And we can go to the type tool, go down to paste lorem ipsum, and boom, it'll put the text in there, click away. And there we are, we were able to create that love heart. Now, of course, if you want to make it stand out a little bit more, just go like that, change the font to maybe something like just a regular font, and maybe drop the size down a little bit. And if we need to paste some more, we can always do that. Just go into the type, of course, and paste lorem ipsum again. And if there's not enough, control copy, select it there and we can just paste it a couple of times there was control c to copy control v to paste and it's almost looking good one last thing i want to do is i'm just going to select in there hit control a to select it all this change the alignment to center aligned and boom we've now got a love heart made out of type so anyway guys as i promised short and sweet some cool things you can do with the type tool that i bet you maybe you didn't know or maybe you did but i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the subscribe button right now and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and you'll get at least one new tutorial every single week if you liked this smash that like button into dust add a comment and until next time i'll see you at the cafe